Hello YouTube and all who inhabit it, my name is Z, and in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're going to be... Creative. Most of you know that my channel icon and banner have stayed relatively the same for quite some time now. So I decided, hey, why don't I redraw that? But in a sort of SNES era retro pixel style. This video is simply going to be my process of how I did that and how I drew it. I hope you enjoy. So I started out by drawing this simple emerald shape, and after I drew that emerald, I was going to try and make the circle around it. Here you can see me trying to fit the emerald into the shape, and I really just couldn't get it to sit right. Finally, I decided to draw a new circle, but this time a little bit bigger. While this did set better, I couldn't get the emerald outline to look right. I decided to try and change up the shape, but it just wouldn't work. The triangles weren't even, and it just didn't look that good. It was at this point that I decided to try and draw the emerald in more of a geometric style. I started by drawing the emerald first, making sure that the triangles were even, and then drawing the circle around it after that. Here I highlight everything in blue so that I can take away all the white pieces, then just color that in white again. I tweak it a bit, and it's starting to look pretty good. Now all I'm doing is adding a bit of shading. I made sure that the light was coming down in the proper spot on each part of the emerald. I think it looks pretty nice. Here you can see I color the entire screen black, because now I'm going to try and work on the 8-bit Neato icon. This is sort of like my icon, except it's truly 8-bit, instead of having that higher resolution. Here I have a lot more trouble drawing the Z. I just couldn't get it to sit quite right. It looked way too big. Finally, I decided rather than starting from the top, I'll start from sort of that middle section at the bottom. This made it look a lot better, and more like my icon. Now I wanted to try and make sort of this bubbly, bulby, round thing around the entire icon. I went around and outlined everything. But for some reason, it just didn't sit right with me, so I decided to instead go for a more blocky style. I thought that this looked way better. Now all I do is add in some shading, similar to how the emerald is, because the light is going to be hitting them in the same place. I add some texture around the border, and it's looking pretty good. Now I decided to add in this nice blue color. It really creates that nice retro feel. I then add in the extra shading around, where the letters are. Now that that part's done, I can export it. Here you can see me taking a template and putting it into A-Sprite so that I can work with it easier. I then downscale it by 8 times to make it fit with my 8-bit style better. 
I import both the Neato icon and the Emerald icon in, and make sure that they're centered around the screen and each other. I color the edges black just so that it's easier to work with. I make an outline circle around the Emerald icon, as I think it looks pretty nice. Originally I was going to go with a gold color, but decided on white instead because it matches with the Neato icon better. Now I decided to make these sort of spotlights coming off of it, like it's emitting some kind of energy. It looked pretty nice, but I wanted to go over it again to make sure that I was really happy with it. I did it on one, and now it's time to do it on the other. I think that looks fantastic. Now I color in all the edges of that same blue color that's in the center of the Neato icon. I also wanted to add a sort of gradient. I lighten everything up so that the gradient really pops a little bit better. It's looking pretty good. I wanted to add texture to the lights, but after seeing how it actually looked, I decided against it. Now I size it up so that it fits in YouTube better, and it's good. Time to work on the icon now. I start out by drawing that same white circle around the emerald. Now I take those same background colors and make the same sort of gradient shade on the icon. It looks pretty awesome. Well, that's it. I'm extremely happy with the finished product, and I hope you guys are too. If you enjoy some of these creative process videos more, please do let me know down in the comments, because I really enjoyed making this, actually. If you like my content and this video, please do remember to leave a like down below, and you can hit the subscribe button to support me. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.